Hey everybody, this is a follow-up video to a video I did just recently about a, uh, how to make a birdhouse in Tinkercad. And I thought I'd like, I'd really want to share with you uh, some of the things that uh, a few of my students have come up with. Now, they were given uh, just four criteria. Uh, they were told that their birdhouse had to have a roof, uh, it had to have a perch, and then of course it needed to have like a hole for the bird to go in and all that. Uh, and then there was a, some other criteria that had to do with turning in the assignment. But those were the things, basically a roof and a perch and a hole to go through for the bird to get in and out of the, out of the birdhouse. Uh, I just was pleasantly surprised at some of the creations that uh, some folks came up with. So I wanted to share, let me share those with you right now. I, I haven't asked the student yet. I think, I don't know if, is that bird poop? Cause that's pretty cool like this where they just you know they decided to create a you know a curved roof and just add a couple little things on the side then of course you've got uh, some folks who got really interesting where i guess this looks like a prison cell for a bird but that's cool then you got some stuff like this where they decided to go manuel here decided to do a cone and that's pretty cool he, he even hollowed out the cone made a couple entrances uh I didn't get a different angle, so I'm not sure what's going on with the perch right here. If maybe, you know, that seems like it would maybe impale the bird as it tried to land, but uh, maybe that's, maybe it's a bird trap, not a bird house, I don't know. But good job on that one. Anyway, we got a sphere, look at this, Olivia, good job. Uh, Alyssa did a heart box, like a heart shaped box uh, that's hollowed out in the middle with a hole and a perch. So good job, Alyssa. This one's cool, Caitlin's really neat. Uh, still a sphere but also put a cone on top of the sphere so i thought that was pretty cool and then my favorite of all of them my favorite of all of them look at that look at that really cool okay so this was amara okay and uh, i'm just doing first names but uh what a good job. What a great job. Now, I'm gonna say something for a second here. I am going to be critical for a minute of uh, her work. And I cannot say this enough. This, this is my favorite creation that I've seen today. And I was pleasantly surprised to see it. And I even called her and told her it was just so great. And I really enjoyed it, I liked it. Looking at it, there are some issues, and I think she can get so much better, as can all of you guys, if you have somebody that can look at your work with a critical eye and is not afraid to tell you what can be made better. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do right now in this video. Uh, this is for her, this is for, for everybody that's watching. Uh, I'm going to kinda <laughs> I'm going to criticize and make, you know, tell you why I think it, how it could be better. All right. It's not so much finding things that are wrong with it, but I have to believe that I'm, I'm pretty sure she would have wanted that perch centered and she didn't quite get it centered. So I'm going to start off with this tip. Okay. Learn to use your views, learn to use these views up here in the upper left and learn the difference between uh, this view right here which is what I'm guessing she did the entire thing in that perspective view. If she had done it in this flat view and used these, these, she would have seen that her roof is actually not attached to the birdhouse. Okay, so now we're not, I said we weren't printing these and this was just really for, for visual and this was for looks. And so if you were just getting pictures or whatever, then yeah, how it looks to your eye that's all that matters. Um, but yeah, switch to orthographic view or this flat view and use your views, like front view, side view, all that. Then we could have easily just grabbed this and gone, oh, it needs to be plopped down a little bit so that that birdhouse, or so that that roof is attached. And then again, I don't know, maybe she left it not attached on purpose. I don't know, very possible. It's still just, maybe it is an optical illusion, but it looks like it's a little bit overhanging on the right. That's okay. All right. I also noticed that uh, she did cut a hole for the heart, but it didn't go all the way through. When you're going to cut a hole, 
is to make the object bigger than it needs to be, right? So if I'm gonna cut through that, you know, I can make this bigger than it needs to be like that. Right, now, Select those objects and group them. And now I've cut all the way through. And notice it looks like it looks like it left a remnant of her cut and then my cut, or mine needs to be probably just a little bit bigger. Did that, group them, and let's see if I got yep, I cut it, I cut it out better that time. All right, so that's cutting the hole there. Um, the the roof looks good. She even hollowed it out so that make sure that birdie has some headroom and everything. And just oh my goodness, such a good job. Well, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to I wanted to show you. Um, I hope Amara doesn't mind that I'm messing around with her her object. This is actually on her like her literally on her account right now. So. Um, <laughs> She's going to be like, what did he do? Why did he mess with my thing? Well, let's try to put it back. But if you guys have any questions, if you want me to make anything in Tinkercad, I am not a pro uh, by any means. Um, but I like making videos on YouTube and I like doing little tutorials. So if there's something that you would like me to see me do or to try or attempt, then go ahead and put it in the comments. To all my students who are watching this, you guys did an excellent job. We're going to keep on getting better and better. Have a great one. Bye-bye.